Hello everyone, this is Hemi from Korea now with our weekly K Buzz. In today's K Buzz, we have exciting news about some BTS members being appointed brand ambassadors for luxurious brands. BTS member Jimin has been named Dior's global brand ambassador. On Monday, French luxury brand Dior announced the news through its Instagram, saying, as he continues a bond created in 2019 with Kim Jones, who designed BTS stage looks, the singer solidifies his friendship with the house more than ever. The post shows pictures of the star in a series of looks from the brand's summer 2023 collection. Jimin also took to Instagram to show his excitement, saying, So thrilled to start a journey with Dior. Just a day after Jimin was named the new face of Dior, luxury fashion house Valentino announced its partnership with BTS member Suga. Maison Valentino posted on its official Instagram pictures of Suga wearing its latest collection, alongside a caption saying, Chosen for his authenticity, creativity, and empathy, Suga reflects the values of the Maison, speaking to a generation through his contemporary ideals. Suga also shared the news on his Instagram, saying, Happy to be the new brand ambassador for Maison Valentino. Previously, all BTS members were named as house ambassadors for the luxury brand Louis Vuitton. However, it is said that the contract between the brand and the group ended after two years of successful collaborations. Moving on, we have exciting news from the entertainment industry. Netflix is set to release its biggest ever lineup of Korean content in 2023. Global streaming service Netflix announced that it will release its biggest ever lineup of 34 Korean film series and reality shows this year. Korean content on the platform includes 21 drama series, 5 reality shows, 6 movies, and 2 documentaries. Looking ahead, the global streaming service recently unveiled titles of new and returning series in various genres, ranging from thriller and sci-fi to romance and action. Among them are Kyungsung Creature, which follows battling monsters during the dark days of 1945, and the sci-fi series Black Knight, set in the dystopian future. Romance series include A Time Called You, Behind Your Touch, Crash Course in Romance, Destiny With You, and Duna. Among Korean movies releasing this year are Kill Pok Soon, Believer 2, a sequel to the 2018 crime action thriller on drug gangs, and the revenge movie Ballerina. Netflix also prepared a variety of new reality shows, such as Physical 100, Zombieverse, and The Devil's Plan. Some fan favorite shows will return with highly anticipated second parts or sequels. Among shows returning this year include Monster Horror Sweet Home and DP, which exposes the South Korean military's dark side. Also, the highly anticipated second part of the series The Glory, a revenge drama featuring Song Hye-kyo, will return in March. Writer Kim Eun-suk said, if you watched part 1, you won't be able to stop watching part 2. Director An Gil-ho added, Tong Eun and Yeon Jin's fight will officially begin, and the story of the perpetrators getting punished will be told in a dynamic way that will have your eyes glued to the screen. The show will be released on March 10. That was it for this week's K Buzz. What do you think about BTS members appointed as brand ambassadors? Also, what Korean content are you excited about the most? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Korea now for more updates, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!